down the hallet. Hatch. And Sorry. shot. Mm -hmm. Didn't even touch the side. Is this, a, is this a starter or a challenge? It's the starter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a nice it's a dare. Well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> Quality stuff. Mmm, smooth. That's the, <laughs> That's the wing you are, Chariot. That's uh, the vodka was so strong. It was nice vodka, but I didn't taste any of the starter. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> mate. Can't you get smaller shot glasses? <laughs> Think the vodka's kicking in, and now conversation turns to Victor's artwork. I thought, what's he doing with a picture of me on his wall? Hey, we got <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that, that wasn't my heyday. No, pull your pants up. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, let me just have a look at that. Why has Victor got a picture of me on his wall? Give more vodka! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise we'd be having shots of vodka and it just like descended into like a little bit of carnage, really. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. I'll get up and out now. Come on in. Come on. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> it was a bit dysfunctional. Uh, misfunctional. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, whatever. Not. The vocal has taken its toll. No kidding. As Victor cracked on with his mane, the lads upstairs had other ideas. Don't worry, back up here. Peter, I'll just finish me one. His idea was it. Victor's main is ready. Oven baked bass in, uh, well, I think they're beyond caring, to be honest. I've been hearing lots of noise from up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you can't leave us with a bottle of vodka <laughs> and think that nothing's going to happen. It's on your head. What, what could he do? He came in with his fish, expecting it to put it into the table, and there was a snooker table, um, a pool table. He laughed. Um, you could tell by his eyes he wasn't happy. Uh, and quickly we rearranged stuff and, hey! It's a... Oh, that looks great. Fine. That looks great. No, not cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm making it real. Is it not good? Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, Leslie, old. Try a bit. How about the fry it? Cut pieces and fry it. I think it'll... I'm losing the will to live. I'm going to cry. Fried lamb? Nice. <laughs> In a desperate attempt to eat something, Linda proceeds to slice the least raw bits of lamb ready to grill them. Where's the foil? In the foil ready. Doc, I don't know where the foil is. That's the foil. This cling film any good? No. <laughs> Where's the baking tray? Well, you yeah. seem to have an array of scone well, trays. A scone tray. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. This is hot. Rodney and Linda, will you? Yeah, I'm well, gonna, I've got to have a drink. Okay, go on. Here you go. This could be a long night. The meat is raw. Leslie came last, but she got a chance to redeem herself on our Return of the Worst Celebrity Special. This time adopting a more hands-on approach. I did not think I, when I woke up this morning that I would be actually massaging a duck. It feels horrible. But uh, anything that makes a good meal, and we know uh, I'm hoping to do a good meal tonight. But amazingly, it seemed to pay off. Right, I'm going to try some. Oh, heart in hand. Oh, bloody hell. She's actually quite nice. By the time dessert was served, she was on a roll. Bon appétit, mm. everyone. Bon appétit. Oh, superb. I think everyone superb. likes it, Leslie. Amazing. That is, is really nice. That is really nice. Well, I think I might cry. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Sweetheart. I don't normally like Pavlova. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh, blimey, she really is oh, off. Oh, no, 
give her a kiss. She was delighted, rather bizarrely, that it tasted so delicious. I don't know whether she was just so relieved it was over or was the Pavlova speaking to her. But Leslie's Titanic theme didn't go down quite as well. OK, ladies and gentlemen, oh. stay there for a minute. Be careful. I think there's a glass gone. There's more than a glass Bobby, gone. Bobby, would you please... Women and comedians, <laughs> That's you last, then, Bobby. Oh, come to my captain's oh. So, after all her efforts... Second... Tamara! <laughs> she managed to put her disastrous maiden voyage behind her. I am thrilled that I turned my house into the HMS Titanic, sunk the ship, but I won the week. Julie! <laughs> Kenny! Oh, I'm here to mere... Oh, darling, you shouldn't have. I wanted to. <laughs> Mm. You oh, haven't changed one iota. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, mm. Mm. Can I just... Mm. Mm. And perhaps just again. That's enough. Come Far here. too much, more like. A bottle of yeah, but... oh, oh, look at that. Me. To the future. Oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, pack it in, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Ken is... He's very, very naughty. Um, you know, he's like, he's like a naughty schoolboy, really. And Ken's over-amorous ways continued on night two. Sorry, Julia. Stop it! Yes, I must. Can't no! Accept me! No! no I can't stand it! Oh. oh, sorry. It's just a moment. I tolerate him, you know? People underestimate what an intelligent man you are, in my opinion. Well, it is pretty well hidden, to be fair. But on Julie's bizarre girls' night out-themed evening, she had a plan to keep Ken in check. Do come in. And it wasn't long in coming. <laughs> a glass of champagne. Please, not the That's furniture. Ah. Yes. This is wrong on so many levels. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Could I be on the other side next time? <laughs> oh, you're uh, oh that's lovely. Ah! Ah! Sorry. No more outbreaks of wind this evening. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Perfect. I don't think in any other regular day of my life would I have experienced a night like this. The atmosphere's been strange. Very, very strange. Mm. <sighs> ow, ow! That's a bit daft, see? <laughs>